What is up guys, this is what if Deku was the son of Goku. Before we begin into what ifs, go check out Fallout What If were I mean Fallout What If Er Er E R and go check out Go Can Go Can What Ifs. Go couch out Ultra God and go check out Anime Outlet, which people Actually, that's not the same thing. If what if Deku was the son of Goku? Hmm. The first one who did this, what if, is a redo of what if Deku was the son of Goku Part One. But the one who did this is Fallout. What if? So, go check out him as well. But mine's will be totally different. I never watched their what if, so never knew what they said. So. I don't know if I'm gonna be saying the same thing. But in this, the world of Goku's planet called Earth and the whole universe now got dismembered when Goku transformed. Goku was enraged by the death of his friends. He destroyed the whole planet in versus a higher rank Dragon Ball, or the higher ranking Saiyan, who's stronger than Goku. Goku was facing off with the Saiyan, but something happened that to make Goku disappear from another universe and appear into Zuku's or My Hero Academia. Goku now looked at the boy, looked at the man in front of him, and said this, You killed my whole family. You killed my friends. You killed even Vegeta. And I won't let you slide. Goku powered up to his ultra instant form. And the man was surprised that Goku can even transform. I thought I'm the only Super Saiyan here. The man said, looking around. And the man's eyes went gray. His hair turns blue. And then, it turns to a golden form. And then more. His hand turned to ultra instincts. Well, Son Goku, let's fight to the bitter end. Somewhere far, far away from another planet, someone noticed the power of Goku. Noticing that he has no family, no more. And this someone was the god of angels. The father of all angels. And... He wants to know. Hey, Master. Yes? Zeno, I think his name is Zeno, said, Do you want me to send Son Goku to another world to make another family? Or another, or another sin, Saiyans? Sure. I want Son Goku to survive, but kill that Saiyan, that Chan tried to kill Son Goku. Zeno said, Well, yes, Master. And then the angel flew to Goku. And Goku was enraged, punching everywhere. This one, Zeno whispered in Son Goku's ears, You will be somewhere else, Goku. To another time chamber, another universe. It's not universes that's in our world, no. You'll be sent to another world with something called quirks. They have power there, but they're not stronger than a Saiyan like you. And it's heroes there, they. Here. Yeah. But I'm sorry, Goku. I'm sorry that you lost your family here, but you can create a new life there. Goku smiled and said, I would do that if I can have a son back again. Son Goku said, what a smile. Or Kakarot. Kakarot now vanished in a poof. A black mess appeared behind Kakarot and sent him to it. And then he vanished into that black mess. Kakarot's form started to degenerate back to its normal form. Kakarot's power is one million and 
2.5. 1 million and 1.5. Cockroach form is that much powerful. Now, the angel killed a man who holds Ultra Instinct. The man who killed, who fought Kakarot is because of one thing. The man, the man wanted Kakarot's power. The man can absorb Kakarot's strength, so he wanted to fight Kakarot face to face. Every time he hits Kakarot, his Ultra Instinct vanish. So now, since Kakarot's gone, Kakarot's power begins of load. Kakarot smiles. Now, years past, Kakarot was now sent to a universe called the My Hero Academia universe. Kakarot smiled at this, and Kakarot walked out of the weird alleyway with the same clothes that he have on, but a little bit dirty up. Fight with a saying. Kakara now enters and finna have fin to have another life in this universe. He know he cannot go back to his old universe with Chi Chi or Boma or Vegeta or Kak or anyone he loved. But Beerus But he knows Beerus was his friend and he Beerus didn't die, but Beerus is still the god of destruction. So is Whis, the angel for Beerus. But Beerus could not go towards the universe of Kakarot. Beerus, the only one who can fight, who can keep up with him, is Kakarot. And he was saddened that his mortal is now gone. Now, Kakarot in this remembered what the angel said. Make a new life in this world. Kakarot smiles. Kakarot is still dumb, so I'm sorry, but yeah. Kakarot, Kakarot is now training to be stronger and somewhere far in the woods. That's when heroes started gathering, telling, telling a hero. A quirk, a quirk person walked up to a hero, and this hero was Aizawa, or a racer head, telling someone is in a woods training without permission of using their quirks. This one, and this one, uh, the hero looked at the man and told him who. Well, she's strong and trains in the woods. We tried to walk past, but his force brought us back. Alright, thank you for telling me. This one heroes like all my end endeavor and um people all pro heroes went towards the forest. And Kakarot noticed and sensed people coming, but they have a lot of energy, so he didn't worry. Kakarot still punched the tree and trained into the hardest content so he could fight a wife. Kakarot looks behind him seeing pro heroes. And remember to where he are. Sorry, I'm Goku. What are you doing here? And why are you using your quirk? Uh, that's the thing. This is not a quirk. This is a power that I hold. I am a Saiyan from another universe. And I am stronger than even all of you. Kakarot chuckles. But my goal here is to make this world peaceful, not make become a hero, none of that. My goal is to make my son, I want a son in this world. So my goal is to marry a wife, I will get a wife, a beautiful wife, to create a son so I can train. But I'm not from this universe, I got sent here because my planet and my whole universe died by a man called Ultra Instance who can use my power as well. You cannot use power here. That's the thing. How can I train? Goku looked at All Might and asked, what's his name? I'm All Might. Do you want to fight me, All Might? 
I want to see how powerful the number one hero is. I'm going to check what said, not here. Follow me. Endeavor was weirded out that All Might accept a fight. All Might and Kakarot now went to the UA entry, the UA, the UA high school, which All Might entered, and it was a training ground behind the UA high school, and nothing can blow or break. So Kakarot said, "Use all your strength, All Might." All Might and Kakarot now begins fighting, but Kakarot only used 1%. Because he didn't want to kill the number one hero. Kakarot can easily defeat um, All Might in just 0%. But he wanted to see how strong All Might is. All Might punches his fist back and clicks butchicks. That sounds real wrong, but yeah. And he said... 1,000%, 100% smash! Sending Kakarot flying, but it can do no damage to Kakarot. Oh, you're strong, but not strong enough. Kakarot rushed towards All Might with a kick to All Might's stomach. All Might went flying, crashing into a tree. All Might got knocked out unconscious. Oh! Kakarot rushed over and gave the man since of being and he was now in full health sorry the number one hero I'm sorry no no it's okay we fought and you're stronger than me how well in my universe I train a lot to manage my power and my full power is this <laughs> this one Kakarot's done his scream and some rubble and some rubble and big rubble of rocks and trees not flew up there and turn he turned ultra instincts form this is my true form and this <coughs> Kakarot just released his power showing people that he is the strongest well then Goku that was fun of training. But please do not train somewhere in the woods when people are trying to walk. Sorry. Do you know what, what the police can I train at? Goku said. Yeah, here. I'll let you train here. Since you defeated me, I will keep a promise that you can train here. Thank you. Years past, Kakura met a girl named Inko. Inko Midoriya. Her name will still be Inko Midoriya. Um, Deku's name will be... I don't know. Says so he could be a sad. I'm gonna keep his young Zuko. But, obviously, Goku will change to Gohan. Gohan Midoriya. Or Goten. Actually, Gohan is fine. Goku changed Zuko's name to Gohan. Goku met Inko in a bar. We were drinking and eating food. Goku chuckled seeing the beautiful lady with the black, I mean a beautiful lady with green hair. And he thinks she's a super saiyan. But when he felt her presence, she's not. She just, I know I'm a human with a quirk. Kakarot chuckles and walked over to her. Hey, can I sit here? Kakarot said. And this Kakarot is very polite. I will make Kakarot a little bit smart and knowing what um, bedtime sparring is too. He's a little bit smart <coughs> in this universe. Kakarot now looks at Inko and asks her what's wrong. She said her boyfriend dumped her for another man and she and he was cheating on her. I mean, for another girl, and he was cheating on her. Kakarot chuckles and said, Well then, let's talk. I'm Goku, or you can call me Kakarot. That's my Saiyan, that's my Saiyan name, actually. But my adopted name is Goku. 
I'm from the nether universe. I was coming here to start a new life. To meet a new wife. Well, I finally make my wife. Nico Midoriya. Kakarot said with a smile. Do you want to go on a date? Kakarot said. In this timeline, Kakarot knew what a date is. And Inka was blushing, asking him when we first meet. Yeah, when we first meet, Kakarot chuckled. Years passed, Inka was pregnant. Nine months. Now, nine months passed, Inka was giving birth to a young boy. Young green, black hair boy. I don't know what color, what color Deku, um, if Deku had, if Goku had black hair and Inka had, I don't really know what color that will make. So, I'm gonna just say right here is the picture of Goku, I mean, the picture of Deku. So, Zuku will have, if you can see the black sparks. All around that. That's what he was at. But I know the black sparks is just shadow. But if you can see the black sparks right there and a green hair, that's what his hair will look like. Black and green. So, yeah. But it will be looking like more like pointing like Kakarot. Not like this. Like Gohan is. His hues would be more like Kakarot. Go. Deku was now the age of five, and trained with his father. And trained with his father. Go, uh, Goku. I mean Gohan. Come here. Yes, father. Do you want to train with me? Again? Yeah. I'll make you get stronger, so you want to be a hero, like All Might, right? I'm friends with All Might. Goku said. I do, Father. I want to be a hero so bad. Well then, I will make you become a number hero. And you can use your points of your Super Saiyan. Your Saiyan blood. Goku had to cut off Zuku's tail before he go ape shit. So, yeah. Goku took Zuku to the training ground of UA. All Might was there, watching it. Whoa. Well, you brought your son here, Goku. Yes, friend All Might. I brought my son here. My son is powerful, and I want to teach him how to transform to a Super Saiyan. He will be powerful like you, or me. So, I name him Gohan. All Might. Azuku rushed over to All Might before they got training. Hey, Azuku. My name is All Might, or my real name is Toshino Yaki, but you could call me All Might, Young Izuku. I mean, Young Gohan. Well then, All Might, I will become a great hero, the number one hero. Izuku would, I mean, Gohan would smile. I'm gonna just call him Deku for now because you know Azuku's name is now Gohan and I'm getting to Gohan. So Deku's name will be still Gohan, but I'm gonna call him Deku for convenience. Deku's now training with his father, and two hours went by, then and then a minute, and then more hours went by, and Goku and is Deku now transform into Super Super Saiyan One. Or you can say Super Saiyan. Goku's, I mean, Gohan, I mean, fuck, Deku's hair color will change to golden form. And his body was muscular. He'd do push ups, sit ups, and everything like that, like his father did. Deku is now strong, and he fight with his father. His father was Super Saiyan as well. And Goku, Goku I mean, Deku's power is. 1,100, I mean, 1,050,000, 150,000, that's where's Goku's power, I mean, Goku, I mean, Deku's power level of his Super Saiyan, why Goku's power level is stronger, his is 1,050,000, 
fifty one mil one million and fifty thousand. His power level is much stronger than Deku's. So they fight face to face. They went full strength, but Goku Deku I'm calling just Gohan. Gohan is much stronger, actually. Actually, Dick. Fuck sakes, man. I'm calling Mizuku. Mizuku is now strong, but he fights and lost the battle. Goku said, Gohan, you're now strong, but you have to go for beyond. So we'll be training for years before you become a college. Before you become in the classroom. All right, my son. Fine, father. Azuku said, "What a smile." And years and years passes. Azuku was the age of sixteen. Is now in high school. Azuku now enters his daily first time of high school. Azuku seen a blonde boy named Kachan or Katsuki Bakugo. Hey, Kachan. Kanchan never seen Izuku that much, or Gohan, which his name is, but I'm calling him Izuku. Gohan, what are you doing here, you dope? And where's your tail? Well, my father cut it off. He did what? But do you not have a quirk? Well, my quirk is energy blast. I shoot energy from my hands, and my hair can change colors as well. Izuku is now his final form in Super Saiyan 3. That's the only form he can go to for now. Izuku now told Kachan all about his training with his father and the number one hero. But keep it a down low. Well, Katsuki Bakugo. What is your name? Kachan. I probably am stronger than you. Izuku said under his breath, like, no you're not, but, dream big, Katsuki, we skip to Goku, Goku's training in a bag, and, and this, Inko will be training with Goku, because Inko want to gain a little bit of muscle to protect herself as well, so Goku trained Inko as well, so make sure his family is ready for battle if anything happens to them. Inko had more than enough training for now, so she went to sleep. This when the day ends, and go. This when Deku or Azuku took Kachan to a park, and they fought. But Deku always stands out straight and wins the battle. This when the years pass, and they're the end of the high school. This when their teacher walked in and said. Hey guys, we have to form, we have, have the forms of college degree and what kind of school you would be going to for now. And he threw the papers up as canon and everyone shouted out, I know y'all always want to become heroes. And everyone else used their quirks, but Kostaki have a little aggression. Don't let me teach. Don't let me down with these shitty nerds. Me and Izuku will become the top hero. I will become the number two. While Izuku will become the number one. Katsuki said with a smile. And this Kachan will not be such a bitch. So, yeah. Katsuki now looked at Izuku and said, You, oh yeah. Katsuki Bakugo, you will be entering UA High School, right? Yeah. And Izuku Midori as well. And everyone looked at Izuku and they they knew he was strong. Stronger than even them. Stronger than even All Might. But Izuku was not worried about it. Izuku wears a green training ground. Like what Goku's wears but green. If you can see right here. Izuku in this will have a sword but cannot use it. And two weeks came by, and while he was training with his father, Goku said this, Azuku, I know you're becoming a young man right now, 
But I want you to be strong, okay? I want you to become the number one hero. The top of the top. The best of the best. But don't be cocky. Because people is going to be stronger than you. But no one in this world is stronger than me or you. Or all mine. But all my told me about a villain named All for One. He's strong and he can take people's quirk. But you, on the other hand, is quirkless. But you're still strong. Yes, father. I can win. And here, Izuku was giving a training ground. Is the um, picture right here while I'm moving? Is that the clothes that Izuku is wearing now? It shows Izuku's neck and muscle. It's in this, Izuku is tall and strong, like as Gohan was in the universe. Seven. Well, Goku said, be strong and go on your way, buddy. Izuku was now flying up in the air and went towards UA. I wonder. I was flying in the air. They said, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, I'm joking. It's Superman, just kidding, but yeah. Azuku made it to UA High School and wanted to become a hero, so he entered. Azuku in this wasn't nervous or disrespect. I'll be right back, okay? Well, then Ozuku dropped down and entered and walked to the way. Ozuku was taller than people, even Bakugo. So Ozuku walked in with a lot of muscle on his body. <laughs> Ozuku and this have the same face as Gohan, if that say something. Well, Ozuku is now entering UA, and some boy said, You're not supposed to be here. You. Sorry, I'm I'm 16, and he said, "You are not 16." And Zuku was getting irritated, and said, "I am. You don't know who I am, or know who I am." Now I just said that twice, but you don't know who I am, so be quiet. Azuka was running his patience, and walked away. But Ten Ida, the blue haired kid, put his hand on Zuka's shoulder. Said you have to leave the premises before I call the cops, you old man. Azuka was tired of people thinking him he was an old man. So Azuka picked up Ida by the hand and said, Touch me again, I'll throw you to a building and make you die in one blast. I don't have the patience or the courage. You know what? I don't have the patience of talking to you. You're pissing me off. My father told me to be strong and not curse at people, but you are annoying. I don't know and I don't care what your name is. Get the fuck out of my face. Azuku toss eat a hold up. Sorry, Azuku tossed Tana Ida on the ground slowly so he won't break him. So, leave me alone. Zuku walked away. Azuka walked away. Azuka was smarter than people, so... Sorry. Azuku now passed the ring exam because Azuku knows Nezu. And then Nezu gave out and 
the papers, and Zuko looked at Nezuko and smiled. He pressed the button as a, Hey, Azuku. Azuku did their test, and Azuku told Nezuko that it, some of them was wrong. And Nezuko looked at the papers and said, Yeah, you're right. Azuku, you get 100% for telling me that. And you almost, you passed it. So, you can go on with the entry exams. Everyone knows past as well as in canon. Azuku now rushed off and was having a smirk on his face. Azuku was like, he's so hyper to fight something. Azuku was just kneeling down and mus muscle his arms. Um, Azuku, what are you doing? And he hears a voice. Was Katsuki. Kajan. Um, I'm doing fine. I'm just so hyper to fight something. Just beat the hell out of it. I'm so hyper that I can't stop it. Just slow down, kid. As Kajan said. Don't call me kid if we're the same age. But yeah. I'm so hyper right now. I just want to let loose on everything in my path. Don't you know, to become a hero, you have to save people, not just defeat people. I know, but the urge of my same blood wants me to fight. But the urge of my human blood wants me just to go and save people. But both wants to fight. Well then, fight when all you're content. This one, Tana Ada told them to be quiet because President Mike is about to talk. President Mike's talking about the zero pointers. The one pointer, the two pointer, and the three pointer, and then the large zero pointer. I'm gonna make this more harder on Izuku. So, it will be four zero pointers coming out. And five zero zero pointers. I mean, yeah. And then, Izuku was looking at Tana Ida, and Ida asked that is it gonna be more than more stronger and he said be quiet so I can talk as canon it went as canon and then Izuku was now urging to fight Izuku wanted to turn Super Saiyan this ends soon those gates open Izuku's powered up he wants to go full Super Saiyan right now and Izuku did so flowing throwing someone's people back far back and Zuku screamed off the top of his lungs, transformed to Super Saiyan 3. Yes, the power urge to fight. As Zuku speeds off, punching robots after robots, knocking them out cold. Punching robots after robots. Just what a one punch kick, Azuku's punch went straight through it. We stepped at Goku, sensing Azuku's power. Unbelievable. My son is already strong. And his sense, his power, is 1,010,000. Well then, my son, that Super Saiyan 3 has got you going. Goku chuckled. We should get back to Gohan, or you can call him Azuku for now. Azuku now rushed at robots one by one, knocking them unconscious. Zuku's gonna walk away, but he hears large thumping and a scream heard. Zuku rushed over, seeing as can it or a Chaka Odoraka, or I can say a Chaka Odoraka, under a rubble. Zuku picked up that rubble with just one hand and then tossed it at the robots, making the robot explode. Azuku was smiling with feet, smiling with battle intent. So Zuku told Tana Ida or someone near him to take her to the, take her to, uh, um, the take her to the doctor, and they did what they was told. And Zuku said, "The urge of killing, the urge of fighting me, is much powerful." And Zuku powered up more, making his power level one thousand ten thousand. One one million ten thousand and six hundred. He powered up more and more. I want to show these worlds that I am strong. Zuku cocked back his both fists and went into a kamehameha motion. 
Kamehameha, blowing all the four robots to smithereens. Azuku now. In there. And Michelle room. That room right there. No. In that one. Our room. Well, Zuku now dismembered all the zero pointers and we smiled. But Zuku was wasting down all his energy. So he fell down to his two knees and passed out. That was too much energy. I'd be so stupid to do that again. Azubusa and passing out on cards. All might notice Izuku and smiled. Young Izuku. All might walked downstairs and walked to Izuku's body and picked him up. All might gave Izuku sensorine and Izuku woke up but was still tired, so he went to sleep. All might put him on a couch where Nezo was sitting. Azuka was fast asleep. Azuka was strong, but he was still tired. But Izawa smiled at Azuka. I want that boy in my class. I want Azuku, I mean, Gohan in my class. Well, Nezo, can you do that? Oh, uh, Izawa said, sure. He'll be in room 1A anyway, because he wants to become a pro hero after all. And see how many robots he defeated. He will become the number one. This one, Azuku. A, um, a week passed when Azuku was going to be in 1A, but told his father that he wants to spar, but show the people how strong me and his father is. So he told his father to come to UA with him. But his mother stayed. But that was a bad choice of having Izuku's mother and Gohan, Goku's wife stay in the house alone. Someone was watching him. It was a villain. Knowing that the two strong shin I was about to say shinobis, but the two strongest people in Sinus world which he, it was a villain, wanted to rob someone. It was a robber with a lightning cord. And he wants to kill him. He wants to go in that house knowing that it got a little bit of volleyballs in here. Seeing that diamond earring that, is, um, that Goku's wife had in diamond ring. I want that, the villain said. Let's just wait a little bit longer until they go away. But in this, I will give something to uh, Inka. She will have Super Sun 1, which she can transform. She can transform to that form, to a golden form. But the only reason I'm doing that is because I want Inka to survive the villain attack. So, yeah. We skip to a Goku. I'll be right back. Well, Zuku is now, and Goku was entering UA. And they entered and walked in Class 1A. <laughs> Hi, guys! Goku said. Who are you? I'm Azuku's father, or Gohan's father. I'm Goku. I promise I'll take you to the park, okay? This is when Zuku's father said, I'm Goku, and I'm his father. 
This is Gohan. Hey guys, I'm Gohan. Well, you can call my middle name name is Zuku. But, yeah, that's my saying name, Gohan. But, my father's saying name is Kakarot. And I brought him here because of one thing. Show how powerful my father is. Against All Might. But, against me. If Nezu agrees. But, before we go, me and my father have to talk to Nezu. Aizara, please get up out of your sleeping bag. That is mad creepy. You look like a snail wiggling from hatred. Uh, Zuku, shut up. Let me sleep. Fine, Aizawa, but we'll be back. Zuku got into his battle armor, battle armor, which is as canon with the green clothes that he has there. Why Goku got in his own battle armor. Zuku and Goku was in their battle armor, but they asked Nezu that can they fight, showing the people their strength since they don't have a quirk and Nezu agreed with this but he told them if they destroy the building they will pay for it and Goku agreed we skipped to Inko well Inko was washing the dishes and going to sleep he hears a glass break so she walks over knowing someone broke in and smiled she never trained with no one in years so, she powered up. Ha! <laughs> Super Saiyan, golden form. The hair turned golden and then rushed to the villain, punching him. Be quiet! Punching him to the gut, knocking him out instantly. She called the cops and the villain was then arrested for trying to a burglary, robbery, and assault of a human being. An assault of a human being. This when we skip to Goku. And Nezu said, Alright. This when we skip we go to the room one A. Then they wasn't in there, so they walked out and go to they walked out of the room. They walked out of UA and entered outside, noticing that the class one A is now outside training. Hayazawa Since I don't have a quirk and all, can I throw that ball? Since you was the one when since you was the one who has the first top score and better than all my sure. He threw the ball to Azuku. Azuku didn't power up or nothing, but Azuku cocked back his fist and threw it, and a bunch of wind came towards all the students. All the, all the students, and it blew underneath their clothes. So, yeah. Azuku said, Apologies. And girls was girls' clothes. Actually, they didn't wear them. the girls' gym clothes. Well, they looked at Azuku. And see how strong it is. Infinite. And Aizawa was surprised that Izuku had that type of power. Well then, you pass the entry exam. You pass this test. But don't forget the fight of you and your father. And minutes and hours pass, and people as canon got the same scores. Like Odoraka Ochako got infinite. But Zuku was in first, she was in second, and Bakugo Katsuki was in third, and Todoroki Shoto was in fourth, as well as Momo Yayurosu, six. Yeah. I mean, fifth. I don't know, I don't care, but yeah. Now, Zuku and Goku was now in their battle stance, in their battle armor. Zuku was trained from Dojo. After Cobra Kai, eh. stuff like that. Azuku rushed towards his father, and both of them then used Super Saiyan, but they class. And no one, not even Aizawa, can see them fighting. They was flying in the air, clashing left to right. But 
only one person can see them. Beerus. Beerus asks, the god amongst gods, the angel god, can he move his planet to that planet where Goku is to watch over him and make sure he don't destroy that world. And they was worried because Beerus' planet was not destroyed by a god. A ultra god that even an angel was not in trouble with. But this one, the angel and the lord of gods was Zoom. I, I forgot his name. Zero, I don't know. Lord of gods, protector, and told him that he can move his plans to watch over Goku. Which we agreed with this as well. And the only person can see him is Beerus. Beerus is now planet with oh, the the planet of oh yeah they went they forced his um um Kakarot to back in time so went to a different universe so Beerus went towards and told Whis to go to a different universe and create a planet there to make sure no one else can see that planet but me or Kakarot or his wife. Or his son called Gohan. Well then, let's do it, Lord Beerus. Back where Kakarot is at. Fight it with his son. Let's go for power, son. Let's show these people that we're not the one who's messed with. Fine. Azuku and Kakarot was flying in the air, and then they tossed their power much higher. Azuku transformed to Super Saiyan God. I would give him that. Super said God for him. Why Goku did the same. They rushed towards each other. In the blink of an eye, they pummeled each other to the ground. But Izuku and Kakarot was there were stronger. Since they transformed to Super Saiyan God, their God Key was unlimited. No one can sense the God Key. Only the the God of Destruction and Angels can sense the God Key. That's when we sense the God Key. And Axer God Destructor, we, Beerus. A Beerus can sense two gods. And he can know that was Zuku's fault. It it's uh, um, Kakarot and Goku. I mean, Gohan. Well, they walk towards each other with a blink of the eye. They vanish, punching each other, pummeling them to the ground. Their power is 1 million to. I mean,. I'm gonna give them this. 10,675. As, as Goku is his 15. Actually, I'm gonna give them this. 12,567,000. But both of them were strong. They're strong in their own ways. I won't let you win, Father. Not anymore. Well then, go for beyond, my son. Goku chuckled, and Deku chuckled as well, but rushed towards his father. In a blink of the eye, they both punched each other in the face, going flying back and crashing to the floor. And they both chuckled at the same time. That was fun, and Goku said. Yeah, you mean it. I want to fight someone else that's strong as well, father. Do you have someone in mind? And Goku sent something. Beerus power. And chuckled. He said, yeah, his name is Beerus, Lord, the God of Destruction. Goku whispered so anybody else knows. How do you know that? He's coming right this way. Goku. Then a blink of the eye. Goku was standing up. Beerus, my old friend. How are you doing? Goku, what are you doing into this universe? Well, the angel, Archangel, told me to come down here. Well, sent me here. Uh, I know. He was your son, but did you have to name him Gohan? Yeah, he's strong. Show him your power. I can't transfer him. I'm too weak. I'm tired. Son, I will pummel you to the ground. Oh, you want to go that far? Ha! Izuku showed him the god power, or the god key. Izuku said, I can transform as god key as well. 
but not to the fullest content. I only can use it for how much I can. But are you Whis by the enchant? I am. You're strong. You're a god. Actually, I'm an angel. An angel? So who's the god? Lord Beer is here. Oh, that cat guy. You look so weak and skewny. You puny cat? That's funny. Hey, watch yourself, boy. Well, catty, I don't want to pet you because it seems like you got the cat ears as well as catty cat. Cat and cat cousin, cat boy. Hey, you better watch yourself, boy. Come fight me, Beerus. Beerus and Deku was now fighting, and Deku was losing the battle. He is very weak. Zuku pump Beerus pummels Suzuku to the ground, knocking him out. Damn it, that was fun. Azuku now knocked out unconscious. Aizawa said, um, who are you two? Oh yes. I'm none of your concern. I'm sorry. Beerus now flies in the air while we teleports them away to their another planet, to their newest planet. As well. As well as that. I'll be ending it off here. What if Deku was the son of Goku? Peace out, anime fans. Anime Chia out. Bye, love you all.